Internet safety. Hey, killed you again. Quit bragging. You have to be cheating. I'm take that. Where did you say you were from? Running well, do you know good? Oh yeah, North South boys are the best at gaming. Who are you? I am the guy that you keep cheating in online gaming. How did you find me? You told me where you were while you were bragging about how bad I was and how good you are online. Running will do you no good, remember? Spam should be a concern for every internet user every day. No, not that type of spam. Spam are emails that are trying to sell you bogus products or claim that you have won amazing prizes. When you click on these ads, they can harm your computer, giving it nasty computer viruses, or worse, they can steal your identity. Pause before you click. Before you claim your too good to be true offer, think about these things. If you did not enroll in a recent giveaway, the email or ad is probably spam. If the offer is too good to be true, it probably is. You should always be wary of criminals trying to steal your identity. Keep your private information private. Pause before you give. Before you give out information, make sure and think about the website. If the information is asking for personal details such as your name, birth date, age, address, your workplace, your school, or your bank account information, make sure the website is a secure portal and it is not spam. If you follow these guidelines, you are sure to be one safe and social digital citizen. Privacy and Security What are those two up to? You mean you don't know? Know what? Well, they are posting stuff onto your Facebook page. Stop. How are they able to post on my Facebook page? Well, remember when you gave Gene your password to upload those pictures of David? Yeah, I remember. Well, even though Gene deleted them off your page, other people had already copied their pictures. David wanted to give you some payback and use your account to post you saying stupid things about yourself. But, what they are doing is not right. And you think you having Gene post pictures without David's permission was okay? You should always ask permission before you post. I guess you are right. I am going to go change my password, and I will ask before I post information or pictures next time. Willingly giving over the contents of your wallet and bank account is something you would not think of doing. So why would you do it over the internet? Crooks are lurking on the internet, and if you're not smart, you are liable to be robbed. Pause before you post and give your information out. Never give out information on websites that you do not trust. If the website is asking for your information and seems too good to be true, it probably is. Be sure the website is not a spam trying to steal your identity. Always look for a security symbol indicating your information will be kept safe. If the information is not required, do not give it. You will know information that is required by an asterisk symbol indicating the information is required. Passwords are a great tool to protect you from being a victim of theft. Think about how much private information is kept private because of passwords. It is important to have strong passwords that keep your information private. Pause before you post. Follow these steps to a positively perfect password. The password has more than 8 characters. The password includes at least one number or symbol. The password does not include a nickname that most people know you by. The password is not my cell phone number or home number. The password has not been used in the past four months. The password does not contain any private data. Self-image and identity. I cannot believe you posted a picture of your butt on Facebook. What? I did no such thing. Yeah, last night you posted a picture on Facebook showing your butt. 
I posted a picture of a bruise that I got on the crook of my arm. Well, that is not how it looked. How embarrassing. People think I posted a picture of my butt. Yeah, they even forwarded it. I have to go explain and take that picture down. I am so sick to my stomach right now. People must think so poorly of me. I would never do something like that. And now my online identity is tarnished because people took a picture in the wrong context. The internet is full of people portraying themselves as something they're not. You do not want to be one of those people. Pause before you post. Is my identity being portrayed correctly? Follow these guidelines to secure the real you. Post status updates, stories, or pictures that reflect who you truly are. Do not post status updates, stories, or pictures that give off negative connotations to your personality. Refrain from posting status updates, pictures, or stories that portray you doing something illegal. Post status updates, stories, or pictures of you doing special things with your friends and family that show your personality in a positive light. Your friends and family's online reputation is equally as important. Posting information or images online that can, read the wrong, that can be read the wrong way is not being a great digital citizen. Pause before you post. Am I harming someone else's reputation? Follow these guidelines to secure others' reputation. Always, always, always ask permission before posting images online. Never post comments or statuses that could harm others' reputation. Do not tag others into locations without asking their permission. It takes everyone working together to keep our reputations intact. Relationships and communication. Eric, wait a minute. I want to talk to you about your paper. IDC Miss G. YK that I am not good with papers. Eric, it is not that you are not good with papers, but you cannot use text slang in papers. We have discussed in class that text slang is only for informal situations like text dunk. A-M-O-F. I do remember that lesson. Then you understand why you are getting an F on this paper, and I am requiring you to rewrite it with proper grammar. Yes, ma'am, I am S. I mean, I am sorry, I will redo the paper correctly. Texting has become a part of our everyday lives. It is a great way to send messages to a recipient in a fast and easy way. However, it is important that you use texting appropriately. Pause before you communicate. When communicating using text messaging, it is important to remember these etiquette tips. Do not text and drive. Texting and driving not only affects your safety, but the safety of others around you. If you're going to have to text back and forth conversations and you're able to call the recipient, pick up the phone and call them instead of texting. Do not ask for dates or break up with your significant other via text message. Do not text while listening to someone speak. Make sure your full attention is on the company you are with. Put your phone away and do not text while in a conversation. Text messaging slang. Text messaging slang is a term used for the acronyms or words we alter while texting or communicating while online in an informal setting. Some examples include BRB, LOL, TOTYL. This is a language that's very beneficial because it gives us the opportunity to communicate our message quickly and efficiently. Pause before you communicate. Be sure to follow these guidelines to use text messaging slang in an appropriate manner. Use text messaging slang when talking to friends or family in an informal setting. Do not use text messaging slang when communicating in the workplace or other settings that are considered formal. Do not use text messaging slang in written compositions. Email. Email is a common communication tool we use to send messages online. It has become more popular than the United States Postal Service, because messages can be sent to recipients quicker. Sending email 
is a great tool to use, but there are a few simple tips you must remember before sending your message. Pause before you communicate. Use these tips to send your email the right way. Always fill in the subject line of the email. If you are sending out an email to multiple people, be sure to add their names on the blind copy, carbon copy line or BCC before sending the email. This protects their privacy. Reply only to the email you send. Reply only if the email you send pertains to everyone on the address list. Do not forward junk, spam, or hoax emails. Information literacy. Hey, what are you doing? Finishing up my paper for English class. I had problems finding reliable and trustworthy sources for mine. What do you mean? In the instructions it said that you had to use sources that were reliable. So, like Jimmy's Facebook page would be reliable, right? Are you kidding? No, I'm doing my paper over hunting, and he had all these cool pictures and comments. More than likely those are opinions, and are not good for our English research paper. So, I have to start over. I am afraid so. I would suggest going to online encyclopedia or maybe even the Texas Parks and Wildlife official website. Okay, thank you so much for the suggestions. To be socially acceptable on the internet, you need to make sure you are giving credit where credit is due. Always having credible sources, not plagiarizing or committing piracy is important so we all get along in our digital world. To be a socially acceptable digital citizen, pause before you publish. Tell the author, title, publisher, and date of publication when citing a source. Organize the citation according to the format you are supposed to use. Some of the formats include APA, MLA, and Chicago styles. If you do not cite your source, you could be plagiarizing others' work. Read through the source carefully and determine what the author is doing. Use the Score Your Cite handout and write the source you are going to refer to. Check the source for awards and nominations. Use advanced searches like Google Advanced or Google Scholar Search and filter for researched base articles and documents. Cyberbullying Andy, I needed to talk to you. About what? About the comments you left about the pictures I posted online. What about them? They were mean and hurtful. Whatever. Look man, this is not the first time you have done this. Your point? My point is that you keep doing this and it's cyberbullying. Cyber what? Cyberbullying. A cyberbully is someone who uses technology tools to upset someone on purpose. If you continue to do this I will go to a teacher or adult and let them know. Bullies have been hated for hundreds of years. However, those bullies look a lot different today. 21st century bullies are bullying over the internet. A person that says rude things or harasses others repeatedly online is called a cyberbully. Cyberbullies do not create physical pain, but allow for a much harsher emotional pain. Pause and think. Rude things cyberbullies do are... Post made up stories about someone called rumors. Repeatedly saying hurtful things about others online. Ruining others' reputations online. Teasing or playing jokes on others online. Logging into others' accounts and posting information on their behalf. There is hope in sight because something can be done to reduce the amount of cyberbullying on the internet. Pause and help. Be an advocate in stopping cyberbullying. Become an upstander and not a bystander if you witness cyberbullying. If you have been cyberbullied, contact an adult at the school or a parent. 
Be brave and do what is right, even if others are not. Stand up for the person being bullied. Talk to the person being bullied and let them know what the cyber bully did was not right and empathize with their feelings. Mm -hmm.